Distracted driving has taken the lives of thousands of people every year. Yet no matter how many times we tell these people to not distract themselves while driving, people still choose to do it. Okay, like, are we just dumb as a species? Or are people eventually just going to, like, get the message? Are we eventually going to be able to break into these people's minds that they should not be distracted while they are driving? For those of you who do get distracted while driving, even if you haven't killed anybody yet, you do realize you can go like two seconds without having to resort to just like getting out your phone and looking through it because you're bored as hell. Do you know you can just pull over to a parking space to text like your friend that like texted you first? You do realize that's an option, right? Like, don't text and drive, okay? Maybe not all of these accidents are caused by texting. Maybe it's something else, like paying attention to something on the side of the road rather than like what's in front of them. But whatever they're distracted by, they're distracted by something, okay? Maybe they've caught on to this habit that they have of di being distracted by something. But, maybe they haven't as well. Who knows? They might not know that they get distracted when driving. Then by the time it's too late, SOMEBODY HAS DIED! Alright, so people are dying and there's nothing we can do about it. Or... Is there... My mom is texting me, what the hell? Ah, it's not a good time. And my nose is running all up. How about instead of feeling bad for the drivers that are becoming distracted and killing people, we just make sure that we're not distracting anybody. Oh my gosh, what does my mom want? All right, so you know how people like to listen to music in their car? Sometimes they use a CD, you know, maybe you're buying 24K Magic and you're putting the CD inside of your car instead of just like using Spotify or YouTube to play it. In order to prevent these people from becoming distracted and killing somebody, um, or to make sure that you're not that person, make sure that you have your playlist or your song or your album picked out before getting on the road. Like, that sounds like common sense, but I just want to make sure that you know to do that. The reason why you'd want to do that, of course, I mean, this is probably common sense again. I'm just stating it just in case it's not for somebody. Um, you don't want to be fiddling around with it while you're on the road, okay? You want to have it picked out, all right? And you don't want it to become a distraction at all when you're on the road. You know what I mean? You're only gonna be wanting to fiddle around with it when you come to like a red light or when you're parked in a space because for some reason the song that's in the playlist or album that you're listening to is just really, really doo-doo. And also, just keep your phone in your pocket while you're driving. Like, you know you don't have to text somebody while you're driving. For those of you who do think that it's an okay thing to do when you're driving, which is probably not a lot of you, but still. This is especially if you're gonna be on like the highway and you're driving at 60 miles per hour or even higher than that. You don't want to be distracted, all right? Maybe you'll go a little bit lower. Cool, you wanna make sure that nobody's gonna ram into you on accident. All right, only take it out when you've come to a stop. At a red light, that's perfectly fine. While you're about to enter the parking garage to your workplace, no, just no. Now I know you were thinking, I already knew this. There should be common sense, my dude. Well, in about one or two years, maybe six months, maybe tomorrow, if you drive, maybe you don't drive, you might be that person that we're trying to send this message to, or rather that I'm trying to send this message to. Maybe somebody else had the same project idea. Distracted driving, not video. Now think about this. Your oldest son is about to graduate high school. He's gonna become a power plant operator, and you're sad to know that he's probably gonna leave the nest because he'll probably be making enough money to not need you anymore. All right, now all of a sudden, some idiot wasn't paying attention to the road, all right, and hits your son, and he f***ing dies. Doesn't sound so nice, does it? Well, you might be that person someday if you don't take the precautions in order to avoid a situation like this. Even South Park had to make an episode addressing this issue. Put it down. Don't. Put it down. Pay attention to the road. Do us all a favor. All right, all right, all right. Please. All right, that's it. See ya. After looking again at the things that I've, I was asked of to do by my teacher, I realized I still got some things to say about this distracting driving stuff. So um, here we go. Uh, let's add on to what I haven't said already. Um, I'm talking about this because um, accidents just happen to be one of the top 10 killers of adults, or at least according to the health class that I'm taking. And um, as far as I'm concerned, distracted driving just so happens to be something that can cause an accident when you're on the road and these aren't happy accidents either all right they're they're very sad accidents someone can die somebody's life may end 
because of somebody being distracted, or maybe they'll just be disabled for a very, very long time, alright? And some of the things that they were able to do before, they won't be able to anymore. So it's nearing the end of the video and you're wondering, so this can't be everybody who's getting distracted while driving, or even causing an accident while driving. So who is this affecting the most? Who is more likely to become distracted while driving? Well, that's a great question, actually. According to Nelson McNeil and National Public Radio, drivers aged 19 through 25 are the most likely to become distracted while driving. About 88% of the people in this group have admitted to engaging in at least one risky behavior while behind the wheel. And uh, let's just look at one of my sources. That risk doubles again if you're texting while driving. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Okay, it says right here, young men were among the most likely to report distraction due to phones, but also people talking in the car or flipping through the radio dial. All right, we talked about the radio before, all right. Oh, wow. So people with extroverted personalities were more likely to get into car accidents, according to NPR, New Public Radio. I forgot what it stood for. Ah, oh, whatever. Somebody probably remembered it. All right, these sources don't say anything about gender, so I guess um, just anybody who's within this group that I said before, they um, they can be prone to getting distracted while driving. So um, yeah, if you can drive, if you're able to drive, you can be distracted by things on the road or things that you're doing, all right? And according to this, it's usually, people are more prone to it if they're a lot younger, because um, usually above, people above 25, they're um, their brains have fully developed, so um, they're probably not going to get into as many accidents as people that are younger than that. So yeah, I think that's, that about concludes this, and um, yeah, see ya.